Hey! Okay. Hey! Hey! No grace gates. Her bad No entry. Be copies and process. Yes, yeah. I didn't have full wash no gates now. No grace gifts her bad clinic. No entry. Some of them young cotia is what to rent. Men who see a life. Now I brand you make a semua. Who no one pram better her? What a grace gift. Yes, yeah. Mammy Sal. A dear pan and what's our grace gifts her bad clinic. And it's a whole science. Change your honey. I'm a part of the pro. Doctor Grace Bobby or grace gift her bad clinic. So we is happy quarter. Any humor, there may be a Malaria, hypertension, or such stroke, or banana, bema, we hear war, bema, or top nada. Just a yadia bay, and what you miss, yeah, no big beer do watch water. Patrol of the yard. Grace gift her back clinic. One phone numbers 0246 and a 0244 Well, we are so in Odia, we are an American rapper, and I say, Oh, you are who free a crew, I say, but he's a Ghanaian act. I got a rap. Ugly Dre, it's my left side. I'm in between. First of all, welcome. Thank you very much, boss. You're going to choose English because rap, you know, they are American. They are from, they are from. You have a rap, right? Why ugly? Are you, are you an ugly guy? Oh, no, no. You know, the ugly is something that is deep. Ugly means like you gotta love yourself. So the ugly be something like abbreviation for that way to always keep me going. So because if you love yourself, you always like to put yourself first in anything you do. So that be one of the things that they always keep me going. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's not like one time. That's day, a BBA time. Day, day, day. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's just to motivate you. Yeah. Okay. Just to keep Tell me us going. something about Ugly Dre. Okay. So my real name is Cyril Dali. Cyril Dali. Yes, Cyril yeah. Dali. Cyril? Yes, yeah, Cyril Dali. Okay. Yeah. okay. Dali is D-A-L-L-Y. Okay. Dali, yeah. And I grew up in the Volta region. I'm Volta Volta region. Yeah, okay. 100%. Yeah, and when I was, I think when I was um, five, I came to Accra and started getting to know about Accra. And I schooled here. Who brought you to Accra? My mom. Okay. Yeah, first, my, my dad came first, and then he was okay. So he had to make my mom bring me. Mm -hmm. So we stayed together, and then... I started schooling in a Christ leg on. And that is how I come. Kusku is leg on. Yeah, in okay. Kusku is leg on. It's us in the river. <laughs> the hustle, the hustle. Yeah, hey. the hustle. Oh, I think I, any, any American accent. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, Charlie. Anything for the money. It's about your hustle best. And I'm coming here. I want to get either the American accent or the British accent. So let me know the kind of hustle I'll call. I'm going to be saying the American accent. <laughs> okay, so um, the hustle, you know, I, I, I've always loved music. But then I never had the like, really had the enthusiasm to actually start doing music. It all started when I was in SHS. But then coming up as a kid, I always, always loved music, like Daddy Lumba. Okay. And yeah, so um, when I got to, I think before I completed SS, that was when. Which school? I did my um, Adan Tenka Institute. Okay. Adan. Okay. Yeah. So that was when I wrote my first, uh, my first um, verse. But then it was not serious. I was just playing with the beats and then. Yeah, so I was, first of all, like, writing the verses, like, I wanted to do tree, but then I thought of certain stuff, because I was not, I was, I'm not really that good in the tree. I was always good with the English, so, okay. yeah, so I felt like if I do the English, it would be better for me, and I would feel more comfortable, like, but then once in a while, I can actually blend with the tree and then pigeon and other stuff. Yeah. Okay. And you started in Numa Kazakaza how many years now? I would say roughly four years. Okay. Yeah, but I've always loved music, like, since I was a kid. And how has it been? For the it's, past four years, it's been, it's been crazy. Like, you know, with the with the English stuff, like people don't really in Ghana, people don't really feel the English. Yeah, many times I've had like discouragements. Like people say, "This is Africa." You like, you go hard say you go feel me come for here. Plus, this is your English English thing. They go feel like you don't know they bad what they talk. So that's been like the main challenge that I've been facing. Yeah, and all the same too. Money issues. I mean, you know, the entrance there. It's there everywhere, yeah. You don't have any management team? Well, right now I have, I have a management team that I work with right now. But first, I didn't have, so I was struggling a little bit. We, mm -hmm. we, we, we like um, paying for my studio session and stuff like that. So yeah. with the complaints that you've heard people give you now, what are you doing about it? Are you trying to, okay, what are you trying to do about it? Yeah, so right now, when you study me, like, you study my craft, like, I use, I blend, I try to blend the P and then the pigeon in. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, but still, I keep the English, mm. just to make me unique. 
Yeah. But do you have any commercial record? Commercial, yeah. I think I have a record that is commercial, but it's not out yet. Mm. Yeah, I'm working on it, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ugly Dre is the name. Um, so, freestyle. You want to freestyle? Yeah. Okay. Um, we be getting reaction from haters because now we on top of the payroll. Living complex, more wrecks. We can't even call to the same hoe. Getting diagnosed with poverty, that shit is the reason I ain't broke. Put us on lock with a whole lot of demons, nigga. We gon' break out the window, cause we gangster. Ghetto kid, don't fear no man. Click, clap, pow, no new clan. Then nigga retarded, I kinda decided to put on my silence and maybe let it get you reminded of how would have started. Cause you were never part of the process. You were never part of the progress. Fall back. I don't even gotta put you on a hit list cause I'm Jovi. Me and I'm a dog or some old shit. Shoot boy Dre. We outside though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the boy from Ghana, <laughs> from the Volta region, giving us those rap lines. <laughs> ugly Dre is the name. Social media handles. Yeah, yeah, my social media handle is Ugly Dre, Instagram, but then Snapchat is Ugly Dre Sex. Okay, how many yeah. records do you have out? Um, for now I have just, I think I have just two. Okay. Two official ones, but then the rest are freestyles. I think I have three freestyles out for now. But we are still working on bringing out more. Okay. Material. What do you think made Vicky Mensah like approach you or call you? I think <laughs> I think he was okay with the work I do. Like my rap, I always like. I don't like to like leave myself just in Ghana. Like I like to talk about stuff like mm -hmm. go Bali. And then I really pay attention to my flows. Yeah, I don't just write raps and just, usually I used to rehearse like always rehearse before I record. So the more you rehearse, like, the flow comes naturally. Yeah, so I felt that was the things that he saw, like, that was impressive. Yeah, so he felt like he had to meet me. Well, how was the feeling when, he, when you had him? It was music? crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, it was like a dream come true. Because I didn't meet just him. Like, he had to, like, introduce me to a couple of people, like, the CEO for um, Free the Youth. Okay. Yeah, I had to meet him. And Freedom. People, yeah. And it was through him that I had to go meet certain big, big people in the industry. Yeah. So he has, he has really done a lot for me right now. Like, I've, I'm so appreciative of what he's done. Yeah. What was the conversation when you guys met? Oh, yeah, he, he advised me and he, he advised me on how I should be relevant. Like, I should mostly talk about things that are going on in Africa. Yeah, it's all about selling Africa to the world. So anytime I'm crafting, I, I should be able to, like, bring up stuff that will actually sell Africa, not the other Western. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though I'm using the English, but I should, I should know how I come up with my content and stuff like that. So, yeah, and he, and he, he encouraged me that if this is what I really have, to, I, I really want to do, I should really stay up to it and then do it well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he really encouraged me. Yeah. Any, any collaborations? Yeah, definitely. We have a collaboration coming up. We yeah. are still, we are working on it. Did that conversation? conversation come up when you guys met? Yeah, it definitely. It came up. Yeah. Mm. It came up. We, we talked about certain stuff. Like, he wanted to hop on, hop on a, like, project with me. So, we are working on it. Some yeah. people do meet some of these big guys and then after they've, they've met them, you know, they don't, they don't hope on that opportunity to do something. Meeting Vic, I mean, what I try to attain with that um, opportunity? Um, personally, meeting Vic, has has done a lot. He he's he has done his part by actually put, putting me on on the line spot. But the rest is left to me. And my team, we are really working hard to like make good use of this opportunity. Mm. Yeah, plenty of projects are coming up. Like I just re released a freestyle recently just to keep people put their eyes on me. Yeah, so more stuff are coming up, like more songs, more movies and stuff like that. What's the title of the freestyle? Um, God did. It's just a freestyle. God did. Yeah, God did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Khaled. Yeah, Khaled. Give us a freestyle. Yeah, it goes like this. I don't know what I'm going to say, but God done did the most. He done picked me all my troubles, gave me a pack of roast. I used to be that kid nobody used to know. Until Jehovah, Jehovah had my hands and took me to the throne. The world's very keen, I'm preaching what I'm told. The more I do the talking, the more blessings showered on my soul. Spirit for life and cursive, took in daily dose. I almost gave up on my dream, that was a year ago. It no be me that do it, maybe God did. I'm a savage, I can flex and head as Khaled. Me and God still winning double cup, but we deserve it. He said, do not talk if you want ass, stay valid. <laughs> I, was, uh, I want to rap. <laughs> what about rap battle now? <laughs> now you rap battle. 
I just want to keep on cool. Now, when I'm like, when I'm rubber too. But you're throwing. I'm throwing. First of all, Madano, can they see it? Yeah. I give up. I give up. Yes. I give up. <laughs> hey, freestyle. And yeah, they want to try to a freestyle now. Lights, nay, camera, nay. If you can't, you know, the air, like, okay, okay. A bobby did not know me that rap it. Shut up. Oh, remember that to see ya. So just check him out, Ugly Dre, yeah. on all platforms. Just go on any streaming platform, go on YouTube, on any social media platform. Just search for Ugly Dre. 2023, plans yeah. for you? More things. More things. Mm. More freestyles, more music videos, more, more commercials, like more things, more things. Yeah. Is music the only thing that you do? Yeah, high school I saw. Well. Yeah. Where you Kofi Kofira Tenka University. Okay. How many yeah. years now? It's just one year. Oh, I'm now year. moving to the I'm now moving to the next year. Okay, yeah, yeah, level two hundred. Yeah. So how many years are you going for? Um three years. Oh, okay. So I have like roughly two years to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So second, third year, then you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I can't wait to finish like why? I have to focus on this music like hundred. Yeah, but still, like, you see, we go to school, I have to divide myself, like, 50-50, 50, 50, 50 for the school, 50 for, for the music. So I can't wait to finish. So that Is it easy or difficult? Very difficult. It's very difficult because you have to study at the same time, writing verses and, you know, so it's very difficult. Mm. Yeah, but it's possible. Yeah, it's very possible. So the people that are dropping out because of school, like, because of music, I feel like you can do that too. Yeah, it depends on you. Yeah, there's more time to do more things. With 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 a comment that uh, with how you rap your style of music, it will be difficult for you in the industry. You know, um, is it difficult for you? To me personally, I feel like it's not difficult. It's about winning the Ghanaians. Yeah, because we have plenty of Ghanaians who listen to people outside. So how about the people? How about the star outside is here in Ghana that you can actually listen to? Mm. So it's about just winning the people. And I've had like positive comments since like I've been put on. Since people have started listening to me, like I've been, ha I've been getting like positive comments. People even like rewrite my own verses and then post it under my post. So, so yeah, so it's, so it's they can hear what you say. Yeah, they hear. People do hear very. They they hear. Yeah, they hear. Even yeah. the tongue twisting. <laughs> yeah, they hear. People hear. But do you hear sometimes I put my I put my lyrics okay uh, under my 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 project. So when you read, you can see you, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. What's the best comment that you've heard about your craft? You know, the best I've heard so far is like, well, somebody said like, like I deserve to be outside, like, I'm, I'll be able to like break into the, uh, into the Western market easily. Okay. And that really like made me, made me feel so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You met Sakodi? Yeah, I met Sakodi. How did that happen? <laughs> so the Black Star Line, it was actually organized by Vic. Yeah, and yeah, Chance the Rapper. Yeah, and Chance the Rapper. So I had to go see him, like, just to show life, like, that I made it. Yeah, so when I went, um, I had the opportunity to go meet. So I met, I met, I met um, Angel. Angel, yeah. So he was he, manager. Yeah, he had already heard of me. So he was even impressed when he saw me. That I came around. So he was like, he would send me to SAC. So that I talked to him. So we, I went to him and we, we had a conversation, like, a little conversation and then. What was it? What, what happened? <laughs> a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> a oh, verse is coming or an advice or... Oh, yeah. A verse is coming. A verse is coming. He, he promised me a verse. Yeah. And he, he advised me also. And he said he, had, he has heard of me. So I should keep doing like what I do. I never give up. That is the only way I can make it to the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm meeting all the big, big boys. Yeah, I've I've met couple big boys. Okay. Yeah, not everybody, but I've met, I've met couple. You can't meet everybody, but you're meeting most of them. Yeah, I'm meeting most. Of them. I'm I'm yet to meet more. Okay. Yeah. So how are you? How are you taking advantage of that? I don't just meet them. Like I try to get in touch. Sometimes I take their managers' contacts mm -hmm. so that we can stay in touch. Yeah. So right now I feel like I have couple that I'm okay with, but I still like I'm still working to get more. Yeah. In this music business, yeah. right now in Ghana, I guess a any Afro beats, then I'm a piano. Eddie, yeah. As a rap artist, how how are you working out things to make sure that you also penetrate through? Yeah. One thing about music is the vibe. Yeah. People have to understand your vibe and feel your vibe. Yeah. Sometimes you don't you don't really matter the type of genre it is. It's mainly about like the vibe. 
Yeah, so when you make music of, if it's hip hop and it's a vibe people feel, they will accept it, especially Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. So these are the things I'm actually working on. I'm trying to make my project like easy enough for people to actually vibe with. Yeah, so this is how I feel like I can actually win Ghanaian. What is your first song coming out in, uh, this year? This year, uh, we've, we haven't set a date yet, but it's going to be out soon. Yeah, soon, soon, very soon. Like any collabos? Yeah, I have a couple of collabos for now, which I wouldn't like to talk about mm. right now. Yeah, but they are big collabos. Okay. Yeah. With all the earliest guys. Yeah, a couple of earliest guys. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, are you financing yourself, or you have a financier, executive producer? Um. Yeah, I kind of have an executive producer who is actually helping me out. Yeah. Just the music, or in school, or school is a is part. Everything, so. Everything. Everything. Wow. Yeah, he's helping. He's helping in everything. Yeah, and I'm really appreciative of him. So it's like, it's, it's some sort of management deal? He's not official. Okay. He's just helping me out, so. Okay, yeah. so you can just work out anytime I want? I, yeah, I can work out, but I can't work out. Okay. You, you've <laughs> not decided to work out? Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Why can't you? Because I know what he has done for me. Like, it's not easy for somebody to actually just see you and help you out. I can, but I can't. Mm. You yeah. can, but you won't? Yeah, I won't. Yeah. You can, but you won't. Yeah, Because yeah. you, you are a normal human being. You yeah. think you're a rational yeah, human being. I think, really think about it. It's not easy. Mm. Yeah, so I can't just walk out. Let's think about some of the I mean, struggles you've been through for four years. Yeah. The struggles, as I already said, the financing. But right okay. now, I feel like I have somebody who's actually helping me out. So, yeah. And another struggle has been my parents. Why? You know, I'm a single mom. You are a single mom? Yeah. You are yeah, single mom. Like, I, I have Your a single mom? parent, sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you a single mom? I have a single parent, yeah. She, she, my, my dad passed when I was eight, so okay. she's been thinking of her till now. Yeah. And How many are you? I think we, we are three. You think you are three? We are three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are three. Okay. Yeah, we are three. Yeah. And, you know, first, when I started doing music, she wasn't really supportive. Yeah, because she's always heard people say, like, musicians don't really respect, like, they do drugs and, like, yeah, they misbehave. That's, so she has always not wanted me to do music and she always wanted me to focus on school. Yeah, so that's been one of the challenges I face. But she's okay now. I feel like things are falling in place, so she's okay with, with it. Right now, she's okay. She's okay, yeah, she's mm. okay with it now. Is she proud of you? She's really, or not yet? She's really proud. As a musician, no? Yeah, like, like she's already proud. Okay. Yeah, she's already proud, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What has she seen right now? Oh, like she's seen me on TV and some couple stuff, like meet Sarko and mm -hmm. Stoneboy. And, I mean, oh, you Chico. met Stoneboy? Yeah, I met, I met Stoneboy. And I met Chico Beans. Okay. I don't know if you know him. No. But I don't know if you know him. You don't know him. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's um, one of the big boys in the US. Okay. Yeah, they do freestyle, walling out. Okay. Yeah, so I met him too. And I, I met a couple producers outside too, Grammy nominated producers. Okay. So they're in touch as well. They are going? Yeah. Yeah, it's not just about people, somebody just put in, putting you on. You have to like work hard to get people. Yeah, so I feel like she's proud now. She's okay. proud. For now, she's proud. But I'm, I'm here to make her more proud. Okay. Yeah. Because things are, things are about to get better. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Uh, give us some of your song titles so that we can search for it and then list it. Okay. So I have Good Heart, which I feel like I, I featured two people. Yeah. And I have um, Ryzen. That one is a freestyle. And I have We Outside. And I have God Did. Yeah. And the other one is Careless. It's also a freestyle. Yeah. I was search for Ugly Dre uh, and enjoy his, 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 his freestyles. On all the platforms. I said, Uti Rajan say, oh yeah, American rapper, my <laughs> Ghanaian boy from the Vota region. Which part, of, which, which part of Vota region? I'm from Oti region. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, the new Oti region. Yeah, First name Vota. And now, I'm a team. I'm going to the team of free one. Yeah, I'm a team. Oti region. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you see yourself in the next five years? Very big. Very, very, very big because I'm not just going to stop working. I'll keep working. It doesn't matter where I get in the next two years. Mm -hmm. I'll still keep going. I want to be one of the biggest like in the world. 
So that is what I'm actually working on. So five years from now, I'm seeing myself very big, very, very, very big. Huge. Yeah, having music with top, one of the top people in the world. But when, yeah. when you become big, don't forget your people that you started with. Absolutely, I can't. Well, it be difficult. 1,500 people have said it. <laughs> and things go to the south <laughs> when you become big. Thank you very much for coming. Thank Social media so handles much. again. Um, Ugly Dre on Instagram. Spell the Dre for us. D-R-A-Y. Okay, and the ugly? Ugly, U-G-L-Y. Okay. Yeah, and then Ugly Joy Sex okay. on Snapchat. Okay. Yeah, you can follow me on um, Twitter too. Okay. Ugly Joy G-H. Okay. Yeah. Your final words? Yeah, my final words. I, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to each and everybody that is supporting my music. I really appreciate it. And then the upcomers that are actually coming up like me, don't ever give up. Keep working on yourself till somebody picks you out. Keep going. Just before you go, he's a Ghanaian. Yeah. So singing national anthem for us won't be bad. National anthem. Yes, please. Hey, <laughs> it's right here. Go get me. <laughs> okay. Um, God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation great and strong. Bow to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Will our hearts we truly humility make a cherish fearless honesty and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and my forevermore and help us to resist oppressors rule with <laughs> You know, singing is very difficult. Yeah. Like it's very difficult. That's why you're always rapping. <laughs> yeah. But it's yeah, I sing too. I like to sing too. Mm. Is it a must? Mm. No, it's not a must. But the rap, <laughs> to keep your relevance, I think like most people like to vibe with songs than rap. Mm. Yeah. So as I already said, it's more about the vibe. Yeah. And singing is, is a vibe. Okay. Yeah. When you sing what people feel, they're able to sing along with you. But rap, sometimes people don't even hear what you say. So, so I feel, it's not about even you, you rapping in a, in a language you don't understand. You can rap in a language they understand, but it depends on how you go with the pace and stuff yeah. like that. So I feel like singing is, is necessary. Okay. Yeah, it's necessary. I Ugly Dre is his name, Zion Felix is my name. Thank you very much for watching us. Go on all streaming platforms, search for all his songs, enjoy them. If you go on YouTube, Hala Awe Ai, go search for Ugly Dre, U G L Y, space D R A Y. Let's support him. The next big thing, Studa from Ghana. Bye bye. Dylan, I'm a sponsor with digital marketing business. Yes, the story hasn't changed. I keep coming here announcing this business to my community because of the massive results I have experienced in the business. It's been two years, you know, and you see what is going on, the pictures that are going on. Yes, recently I was invited to one of our branches in New York for recognition. And I keep telling you, sir, Ebusha Free, anything you need to be successful in this business is already in place for you. So check it out because if you don't check it out. Be some man checking out and come on, come home. Me who will be add like this. And I'm saying, quite checking out. I'm afraid they need pay. And it's a man, my back, you be my name. So me spying go for to do the same. I am a coach and I said, register next today. This is all that I do. I am willing to help my community see the other side of the world. We are not here to pay bills, work and pay bills. Reach out and I'll give you the rest of the details. Bye bye.